I'm going to ask you this question. Oh. So. Oh. When did you realise you shared a rather dark, twisted sense of humour? I think it's when we uh, we used to uh, go to parties. We were students together at Bretton Hall, and if one of us uh, went to the toilet, when you came out, the other one had put on a red mac, had a bread knife, and was doing the dwarf out of Don't Look Now. Yes. And I think that's when we thought, who's go to the trouble to dress up as a dwarf and don't look now? And wait. Wait outside a toilet. So that's when we realised we had the same twisted sense of humour. I generally fought nine years together. I fought 20 years. Like 35 years together. <laughs> Real life. Very sad that uh, they've chosen these out of writers. They've chosen to, to kill these characters off. Mm. These writers, they seem to know that, uh, you know, they seem to want to remain true to the, uh, the end of the second. I mean, we were told, actually, they've changed their minds, haven't they? We were told specifically that they we would be returning. But I've got tights and ladies' shoes on there, which was a new addition to this, but the white, the gloves are the same. Why have you got all, tights on? I don't know, to make it not... Um, really? Obviously, a man. No one can see him, though. We, you just wanted to wear them. I know. You wanted to wear them. Yeah. Right. I'm going to ask you the questions okay. first, and yeah. we'll find that actually. It's like a flowchart. Go on then. Be truthful. Yeah. Are you grotesque, tragic, or grotesque and tragic? <laughs> um, tragic. Correct. Are you fatally delusional, fatally clueless, or fatally unlucky? Uh, delusional. Correct. Are your crimes mostly <laughs> musical in nature? No. No. Correct, isn't it? Do you want to know who you are? Yep. This is quite canny. Do you, I? You are Dean Tavaluris. Ah! Who does magic and stuff. Magic and stuff. He'd written a brilliant book about crosswords, cryptic crosswords, called, um... Two, two girls, girls, one... 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 one no. <laughs> <laughs> two girls, one on each knee. That's right, yeah. Do you know what emojis are? I, I know what they are, but yep. I don't know how to do it. It's funny, though, because you know, he's, he writes that we have a reputation of being on the dark and bloody edge of comedy. Some people think that. Other people think it's not dark at all. So it's taste. Yeah, I mean, we do have, like, cannibalism and incest in the new series, so you yeah. can't... You can understand why people think might say that. So. I was very pleased that I didn't actually have to do it. And what's that about? I mean, it's stupid. You don't want to tempt fate, that's what it is. I guess. Like, if, it, if there's any part of it that's true, you're, you are inviting it to, to go wrong, aren't you, by doing it. I don't think anyone would walk along, see a ladder in the, across the, the pavement and think, I'm going to, I don't care, I'm walking under it. You'd always walk around Some would, though, I think. Who are these nutters? I don't know, they're no longer alive, so... Oh, well, yeah, exactly. There hasn't really been a, a drama about this, or, or, or indeed a comedy drama, or whatever this... What, 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 purports to be. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever this is. Steve Pemberton in side number nine. Um, we should just go on restart the course entirely. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That was your job, wasn't it? Yeah. Being on restart. So thank God you did, because otherwise we'd never have Pauline Yamble Jones. Yes. Pokey <laughs> <laughs> Pokey, pig in a pokey! Uh, Get the lipstick on with the whole thing. Don't worry, I will. So, yes, I was going on out to. Um, Woodbury High Street, where I am for my restart. Why did you never go on a fucking restart? You were not as long as me. Yes, no, you have to sign on, as I'm sure the people of Nottingham know. <laughs> <laughs> sign on for 11 weeks, then you take a week off, pretend you're working, and then you start again with a fresh clean slate. You might have fucking told me that. Sign. Oh, uh, the uh, Blair Witch. No. So, be quiet in, a, in an old house with. Uh, with an alien. Is an that alien. washed? The quiet ones. The quiet things. Be quiet. What? Isn't it? Is it not don't, Cabin in the Woods? No, don't make a... We watched it on the tour bus. Don't make a noise. No. Creep about. That theme where you couldn't speak, the aliens got you. What's it called? Oh, the... Um, the quiet the, one. The quiet qu place. A quiet place. A quiet place. Oh, well oh, done. Gosh, well done. Yeah. Do you know what we've got on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way, for no, example? No, I don't. I'm, just, I'm actually Googling now to see what we are uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. No, this is not is really good for a podcast. Isn't? It is. It's exciting. People will be on the edge of their <laughs> oh, seats. Let's do, a, let's do a, a Twitter poll. <laughs> <laughs> Do you listen to any podcasts? No, not really. I don't. I have got hundred percent. By the way, what for us? Yeah, you're joking. Average audience 100%. score ninety nine percent. There you go.
Um, See, why is that actually annoying me that it's not 100%? <laughs> I, can't, I don't want the 1% to be sorted out. Do you want to know which League of Gentlemen character you are? I've been fascinated. Are you grotesque, tragic, or grotesque and tragic? Grotesque and tragic. Great. <laughs> Do you crave recognition, fulfilment, the forbidden? I crave fulfilment. Right. Interesting. Do you have hairy knuckles? No. Well, in which case, you are Valdenton. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can imagine a sketch show on BBC Three being called Stinkfinger. We should write it and send it in. Thank you. Who's so Anonymously. Oh, I didn't need to be anonymous. <laughs> what conditions do you find best to work in? I'm really struggling to work and revise at the moment. Oh, well, revise. If you're a teenager, just do one thing. Don't think you can do Facebook on that, and have your music on and your earphones in and be watching telly. One screen. One screen. Not it even has a, to screen. Be a screen. A Don't book. be a screen, not even a screen. A, a book. book. Pencil and paper. When you turn the back, the page is still there. Yeah. It's lifted off the page, certainly, by so Guillem's direction, no, no, isn't it? Just, it, just the direction, do you think? Oh, yeah, no, and your performance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, OK. And, um, <laughs> and her performance. Yes. And that rain. I love looking at the rain. <laughs> then the next page... Any humour in any No, no, no. I'm going to get another do one. Do you have a record player? I'm doing player. all the unboxing. I do have a record player, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Oh, wow, so you but can play a new it. one, though, you know, like when it looks old, new. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. And then the doorbell rings, and we get your character with hair down his back <laughs> speaking <laughs> two decibels too high for human. <laughs> only, only cats or dogs can hear it. <laughs> it's not that high. It is. It's not. <laughs> I'll call the police. <laughs> anyway, regardless of that. At least I don't uh, look yeah. like Olivier as Richard III. That's, that was or... the look I went on for. <laughs> that was the look. A musical we've never done, a war film we've never done, All Quiet on the Number Nine Front we've never done. So this, you know, we could keep going. Why stop at nine? I know. I mean, I actually regret that. <laughs> so then here we are. Okay, look, there's the lady's tight. She can see it. It's not just me wearing it. <laughs> and you have that strange noise coming in that whenever is, it happens. And the exact hair lip scarf, yeah. Yes, yeah, the hair lip scarf. Yeah, I, I, that we wore and it stank, didn't it? You left it for me one morning and I put it on. Yeah, it stank of sweat. I mean, we had it in Germany. <laughs> when we were touring in Germany. I didn't. Oh, God for that. Yeah, it was the same one. I think it was from then. But why would I have that scarf? We, I bought I it from a charity it. shop I thought when we were playing hair lip. Germany when we were touring. Well, why would I buy that scarf for myself? Not both. <laughs> the same reason <laughs> I wear the tights. <laughs> Do you ever go out socially or go around to each other's houses for dinner? No. <laughs> Not for dinner. We go around to each other's houses. No, we, I mean, we're all sort of often out at things anyway, aren't we? We live very close to each other, therefore we're always in and out of each other's lives. We meet each other in the streets with yeah, our a lot. shopping and we don't need to go for dinner. No, we don't need to do that. This episode, Bernie Clifton's dressing room, um, is all about a double act. And I feel totally bereft tonight without Rhys Shearsmith standing next to me. Everything we do on Inside Number Nine, we do together, and that includes winning this award. So, Reese, this is absolutely for the pair of us. You know the bit when you're cutting the bit of flesh off her bum? Yeah. That's what it's like for us editing. We are cutting the bum off our own, episode. We're cutting off our own bums. We're cutting our own bums off. We had, to, we had to lose about five minutes of this. It's half a bum. It's, <laughs> it's a cheek. It's a cheek. It's a baby's cheek. Yeah. Oh. OK, let's change the subject. Watch the new series of Inside Number 9 on BBC Two and iPlayer. It's all there for the taking. Go and watch it.